Hey Capricorns, welcome in. This is your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus reading for March 16th through the 22nd. It's a general read. So the strongest energies win. <laughs> and we see what's going on um, for Capricorns moving forward. So it's your Twin Flame Soulmate reading, and that means uh, someone you're connecting with or someone you're potentially connecting with. All right, so let's see what's going on for you guys. Let's see what's happening. Ten of Wands. So somebody feels like they're doing all the work. That, oh, my video is popping up. Uh, somebody feels like they're doing all the work. Or like just overwhelmed, burdened uh, by the situation. This is about the connection. So that's, oh my goodness, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Boy, lots going on, Capricorns. Lots going on. All right, so I think you'll be able to manage. All right, how beautiful is that? All right, so something with your, your okay, so your divine masculine here looks like he's having some problems, <coughs> but it's okay. All right, I've only had one Diet Coke today, just so you know, FYI. Okay, so here you are, Empress, of course you are, Ten of Cups, Twin Flame, so, so awesome, and the Moon card. So just because the connection is connecting doesn't mean that there aren't some things that it will bring up that need healing. I think that is a misconception in the Twin Flame community that once I find my Twin Flame or I'm with my Twin Flame, then everything is like, uh, you know, a picnic in the park. And it's just, it's absolutely not true. It's the opposite of that, really. This connection is about like a hike in the Himalayas versus you know, walking through Central Park on an August afternoon, okay? Those two things are very different experiences. And the Himalayas is distinctly more difficult. I've been in Central Park on an August afternoon, and it's lovely <laughs> for the most part. Okay, so the situation here, this moon card, there's something hidden about the situation. I feel like it could be your partner having some issues, but it's also sort of pinging you. It's connect. It's this is very common right now before the Pisces new moon. If you're in the Empress Club, the March 15th video talks about um, things that need to be purged. And this is very Piscean energy. Okay. The Pisces new moon is happening on March 17th, smack in the middle of this reading. And then we'll move over to the vernal equinox, which is a whole nother can of worms. So this moon card, let me get a clarifier here for you. The moon card is about things that need to be healed, despite the fact that you are in connection, maybe even in relationship, Nine of Pentacles. Um, yeah, okay, this is exactly what we were talking about in March 15th reading today. This is about you doing you, Divine Feminines, and Divine Masculines too, okay? Empress is uh, ambidextrous. <laughs> it is about the Divine Journey, the Ten of Cups there, and knowing that you are in control of yourself, building your life, taking charge of your finances, taking charge of your career, taking charge of your love, how you're loving people, um, not putting up with shit, <laughs> and really being in that empress place of like, the most self-loving thing you can do is to be in this place of, I love myself, I deserve love, I deserve goodness in my life, and that's part of the Twin Flame mission, but it's also about things that are coming up and reflecting to you that you need to work on. So it's interesting it's a pentacle because your guy or your gal, judgment card, five of pentacles, and if you notice, someone is helping the other one through the storm, through the snow, outside of a community, right? Ace of Wands. So there's new passion, new capability here, but this Five of Pentacles is really showing that there are things that need to be healed, just like with that Moon card. And Pentacles indicate to me that it's not about the connection necessarily. It's about what's going on in the 3D. It's about, um, you know, uh, career problems, money problems, taxes. Of course, we're coming up to April, right? So this is a situation where your person got a blast of reality or a message to them 
and now they see what they have to work on and they are overwhelmed by it, okay? And you are you are in a better position because you're here, you're here to be able to assist them. Now, the important thing to understand up down here, I'll show you down here. Three of Wands, I mean, four of wands, three of wands, awesome, right? Universe delivering an awesome relationship of unconditional love. Now, let's talk about unconditional love for a minute here. The unconditional love piece of the twin flame also extends to you. It's not just give and give and give some more and they take and take and take some more. It's not that, all right? It is the responsibility you have to yourself to give love, give compassion, and regardless of their reaction to it, to be in a place of, I am not being triggered by that, or even if you are triggered by that, right? You're releasing those old emotions, those old fears, those old things, and knowing that love is all around you, right? The Mary Tyler Moore song was right. Love is all around. No need to waste it, right? Don't waste the pretty. And that's unconditional love. You are unconditionally loving to yourself. You are not turning around and, as I have done, say, oh, that means I'm unlovable. Oh, that means, because there ain't no way Empress is unlovable. Ain't no way. And none of us are unlovable. None of us. It's not like this special place that we hold. It's just about the awareness of the fact that you are in this position, Capricorn. You are in this love and you damn well, you're a human being or you're a divine being having a human experience. You're here to learn this stuff. You're here to purge these old lessons, to get rid of this burdensome feeling. And your partner needs some assistance right now. Your partner needs that unconditional loving from you. So do so responsibly for yourself. Love, compassion, generosity. Show it to yourself. Show it to them. If, they, if they're taking, 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 and that's not normal for them, like usually they give back and whatever, then it's a momentary thing. But if this is a thing that happens all the time, then you might need to say, I show compassion and love to you. I show compassion and love to me too by putting this protective light around me so that I can still share love with you without it really, without your reaction or fear bumping into my energy, right? Protecting your energy. That is what it's all about for empaths, for divine, uh, divine feminines, divine masculines, and frankly, everybody. <laughs> it's not just us. This is not an elitist thing at all. This is the human experience. This is the divine showing us our human, our humanity. And those of us who are awakened, your person is being awakened, right? This Archangel Gabriel, your person is being awakened. And you already are. You already have this unconditional love thing going. You've got the Empress thing going and the Nine of Pentacles thing going, right? You've got all this Ten of Cups, all this good stuff. They see that. They see that. This is a twin flame situation where it's very delicate because only when this person can walk on their own will they be worthy of your love in full. Will they be worthy? Well, as a human being, as a divine being, they're always worthy, right? Just like we are worthy. But it is about the this is about the 3D experience. So in the 3D experience, are they showing you that they're ready? Not worthy. That's the wrong word. Ready. Okay? Ready. Are they ready for you? Are you ready for me? I said that yesterday in one of the readings, and it was very prophetic. Are you ready for me? Sometimes the answer is no. Do what you can. Don't let them take hunks out of you. Okay? Do what you can. They are always worthy of love. Everyone is worthy of love. Without exception. It's just, are they ready? Can they accept it? Can they be in your, can they be at their highest vibration? 
Can they do it? Free will. You can help, but do your own work, okay? Eyes on your own paper. <laughs> because this relationship is worthy of your work, okay? This relationship is worthy of your work. I'm very strongly uh, dr driven this morning to make sure the divine feminines aren't giving themselves away in the path of thinking that this is what is going to make this divine masculine wake up. That's not what makes him wake up. That's not. They need to do that on their own. Okay? You can send them healing and love and compassion, but they still have to listen to the clarion call. And they still have to do their work. Okay? You can't do it all. Don't try. There's no reason for that. That's not how this is. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. You don't have to do their work for them. You're a compassionate, loving human being. Send them love. Send them healing. And then do your own work. All right. We're going to do an extended read for this. So three cards for you about next steps, things you might have to heal, things you have to... I want to get more about this moon card. Three messages from this person to you. Uh, three cards as to how this plays out. We'll get guidance from the universe and Archangel Michael will, of course, make his presence known. So click on the link below and go on over to the extended read. And uh, it's Capricorn for March 16th through the 22nd. Yay! See you over there.